So hi, hello and welcome, my crop hunter here and these are the capsules that contain the most commonly used drug worldwide and as a matter of fact this drug is even legal in most countries, might surprise you a little bit, it's a psychoactive drug, it is caffeine, that is uh, the stimulant drug that can be found in coffee, in tea, in chocolate and also in certain energy drinks which is sometimes enriched with caffeine and what you see right now here in the background, well these are crystals of uh, caffeine that uh, I observed under the microscope here using polarized light and today in this video I would like to show you how you can also do this yourself, how you can also crystallize caffeine uh, on a microscope slide for observation but you have to wait a little bit until the very end of the video where I show you how to do this. As a matter of fact it is quite easy to do if you know how to do that. Well one of the things that I like about uh, caffeine under the microscope is, is that the crystals that form, yeah they look quite uh, different depending a little bit on the concentration of the caffeine and also where on the slide the crystals are forming and I also like uh, to observe the growth of the crystals and in many cases here well actually in all cases the crystal growth is in time lapse so usually I increase the speed around 20 times so that you're able to see how the crystals start uh, to form. Now a little bit about uh, caffeine, um, caffeine is not only a very popular drug but it also makes a little bit yeah it can make dependent in the sense that if you are used to always drink uh, drinking coffee a lot every day and if you stop drinking coffee at least in my case after approximately 12 hours um, I develop headache uh, this is already a first sign of yes addiction and uh, this is actually a sign that maybe I have to reduce my coffee consumption a little bit now those uh, capsules that you've seen um, at the beginning of the video and which I'm going to show you later again well I bought them just for the sake of making this video and I'm not going to eat them each capsule contains approximately 200 milligrams uh, of caffeine and this is approximately the amount of two cups um, of coffee I have to tell you I prefer drinking my coffee than taking in those uh, capsules here well back uh, to uh, the crystals here those crystals aha uh -huh, and now you've seen I've added a little bit of, of liquid you could see that the liquid was kind of uh, covering now the crystals and um, those crystals here form by uh, water that contain uh, the caffeine by evaporating and as uh, the water evaporates uh, then the solution becomes saturated and as more and more water evaporates the crystals cannot be held in solution anymore and they start to aggregate and they form uh, those beautiful colorful crystals. Now because the molecules are arranged in a very regular way in the crystal and because the caffeine molecule is not symmetrical for this reason um, it uh, the crystal is uh, optically active and it changes the polarization of light and when you have a polarizing microscope uh, or at least microscopes with a polarizing and also an analyzer fil uh, analyzing filter then um, you're able to see that uh, the, the crystal is in a very colorful way. Now not all crystals are optically active salt for example regular table salt also makes very nice crystals but the colors are not there the reason is, is because uh, the salt crystals they do not change the polarization of light so it depends a little bit on whether or actually quite a lot on whether the molecule is symmetrical or not well and uh, later on I'm going to talk also a little bit on how I actually made this uh, in the sense that there is a slight problem when you're using those caffeine capsules because those caffeine capsules they do not contain pure caffeine um, of course you might wonder is it possible to use coffee uh, and crystallize the caffeine and I'm worried maybe not because there are so many impurities in coffee and also the concentration is not very high but also those capsules are not pure caffeine even though they contain 200 milligrams of caffeine they also included some so-called cellulose uh, and the cellulose is a material which simply is not digested but they added it simply to give the capsule more volume and when we swallow those capsules well then actually the cellulose is not even digested by us because we cannot break it down but the caffeine then goes into the blood and it keeps you awake and makes you a little bit more alert um, of yeah because the caffeine after all is a stimulant now I myself uh, am not really sensitive to caffeine I think uh, 
even when, when uh, it's evening and at night, when I drink coffee, I have absolutely no problems sleeping. Uh, different people respond differently. Maybe I've already developed a certain amount of uh, tolerance uh, to the coffee. So I think it's a good time uh, to start uh, reducing the amount of coffee a little bit again. Well, uh, I have uh, taken those capsules and what I've done now is, is I've uh, tried to get the powder out of those capsules. Um, and I tried to do that uh, by simply separating the two halves um, of uh, the capsule um, and this didn't quite work uh, and I think one of the reasons is is because they kind of glued those um, the capsules uh, halves together so that there is no possible p possibility for them coming apart uh, yeah unintentionally and causing a mess in the container so what I had to do is, is I had to yeah use the brute force method to simply cut apart uh, the capsule using some scissors uh, and the powder that came out of course contained the caffeine and also the cellulose. Now, interestingly enough, and this was um, my worry initially, interestingly enough, the cellulose was not a problem. I was kind of worried that it might hinder the crystal formation a little bit. But once you add water, the caffeine will go into solution and will be in the liquid, but the cellulose, which is not water soluble, will settle down on the ground. And uh, therefore it's easier to take simply some of the liquid um, from the surface, from the top, and uh, very few cellulose grains or particles will be um, taken along. But uh, even if a few of them are taken along, along, I found that the crystallization process is so strong that uh, the cellulose didn't really hurt um, at all. Yeah, so I applied uh, a little bit of water Water, uh, with the caffeine on the slide and after some time it looks very dried and uh, you can see that the slide is covered with a thin layer um, of, of caffeine. Now of course uh, you do not want to wait uh, at the beginning you want to see the evaporation process under the microscope and this is where you see those uh, beautiful crystals uh, being formed. Now what I recommend if you want to do that, uh, yeah, try it as well. But uh, if you have the possibility, try to get some pure caffeine. It is possible to get pure crystallized uh, caffeine as well. I've also worked with that before. Um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, the results here show that uh, all of those capsules work quite, uh, quite well. As a matter of fact, I think that's a really nice uh, project uh, and uh, I'm very happy that I was able to share it with you for right now. I think it's enough for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do consider subscribing to the channel if you do like these videos. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.